Be sure to check out my new book on Amazon.com, Micro Shelters, and aside from Tiny House Summer Camp 3, which is going to be September this year, in Orleans, Vermont, RelaxShacks.com for the details. We have a mini workshop before then, July 25th and the 26th. Tour this tiny house, build with us, revamp an old star front in downtown Stoughton, Mass. Guest speakers and much more. RelaxShacks.com for the details. Hey everyone, it's Ethan from thetinyhouse.net. And today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the kitchen in my tiny house on wheels and just kind of show you a general tour of how I laid things out and hopefully share some insights to help you design your tiny house kitchen and uh, maybe avoid some of the little things that I would maybe want to change about mine. So here we go. So to start off really generally, uh, the kitchen in my tiny house is split on either side of the house. So we've got the sink and uh, plumbing guts kind of on the left side, and then the stove cooking area on the right hand side. And so I did this because I didn't really want the kitchen to be, to have as much of a galley feel. I wanted you to be able to kind of walk through it um, and I thought that this layout would be more comfortable for two people uh, rather than just one person in the little galley. So for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this. So here we have the three burner Wedgwood Vision range. Uh, it runs on propane and this is an RV appliance that I've been very happy with. It's very basic in the way it operates, but that I think is a good thing. So you start the flow of gas with one of these three knobs and then use the spark to turn it on. So. Just like that. Lights up almost every time. And then below that, there is a small oven. I'll try to give you a view of that. I call this the Easy Bake Oven because it's it's pretty tiny, but it does work well. You can toast bread in here, and um, this one is actually a manual pilot light that you can leave going. Uh, right now I have it off because I haven't done much toasting as of late. Um, but one little note about these um, RV style ranges is that they are much shallower than a standard countertop. So um, what you end up with is this space behind the range, which you can kind of see the little knob there that's for accessing it. And it, it just is kind of a dead space. And so that's always been like a question slash challenge of, what do you do with that dead space behind the oven? And for me, I store empty mason jars back there. Um, I wouldn't want to store any food there just because of the hot temperatures. So another feature that was very important to me was having full depth drawers. And this is because I wanted to use all of the horizontal space in the cabinets. And so you can see that my drawers, when they open, they open all the way out. Um, I don't even have very much in this drawer here. Um, the, the drawer where I keep a lot of my cooking items are, is this big one below the oven. And this is where I keep big pots and pans and other large items. And it's, it's great. There's really a lot of storage space in this kitchen, um, more so than I'm even using. Okay. So, so moving over to the other side, we have the sink. And one of my favorite things about this sink is that it is a full-size kitchen sink. Um, it's not an RV sink. Two sinks, so one for drying dishes, one for washing. And then also a nice retractable faucet. So again, this is a real house appliance, not an RV appliance. And it even has the spray or the constant stream. Another feature that I really like in my house is the under cabinet LED lighting, which provides great task lighting for working in the kitchen. And that's actually controlled using a rocker switch right underneath the um, front cabinet here. And it actually has four settings. So that's off one, two, three, four. Um, they use very little electricity. They put out very little heat. And so um, they're a great thing for your tiny house. Moving over, um, you can see that I have a range hood above my um, range, and I highly recommend a hood for any tiny house. This is going to help vent out those cooking gases. Um, and you know, if you've ever 
cooked something that is fragrant, you will be surprised how much it fills up the tiny house. So having this range hood is definitely a great feature and I, I definitely recommend including one in your tiny house. Finally, on this end of the kitchen, we have the propane electric refrigerator and the propane detector. Um, I would not recommend a propane refrigerator if you are living in a very cold climate uh, like I am in Vermont. Uh, those reasons are uh, too much to go into here, but you can find a blog post about it on the tinyhouse.net. It's called My Propane Refrigerator Problem and What I'm Going to Do About It. So then right here we have our uh, RV carbon monoxide and propane gas alarm. And that's something that I'm very happy to have in the house. Basically it detects propane and carbon monoxide. And if it senses any, it'll actually shut the gas off at the source. Um, so that's a good safety feature that uh, I definitely recommend. And then above the fridge, I would say this is the kind of the least planned out space here which is the pantry. Um, for a while I had no shelves in here and then um, fairly recently I built two again full depth slide out shelves. Um, so that's where we keep a lot of our canned foods and, and staple kind of foods and um, I could always add a third shelf here. There's been much debate about whether we should put a curtain or a door. Um, I'm definitely open to suggestions but this is a good good space that we can totally expand into um, I've also thought about putting some kind of smaller shelves, maybe wrapping around the back side here for storage, again, of cans or mason jars or things like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Tiny House Kitchen Tour. Again, you can find me at thetinyhouse.net where you can also find Tiny House Decisions. It is my comprehensive guidebook that takes you through every step of the way building your tiny house and helps you answer all of the questions and make all of those crazy decisions that you have to make in order to build tiny. Uh, check it out. You can use the coupon code RELAXSHACKS to take 15% off your order. Again, the coupon code RELAXSHACKS for 15% off your order. All right, thanks so much for watching.